Welcome to Ask the RV Expert. I'm here today with Mike Sokol, who in my book is the most knowledgeable person, at least in the United States, about RV electricity. Mike, welcome to the program. Well, thanks very much, Chuck. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you're here because I have a question for you. And I've heard this a few times, but this one came in recently, and it, and it goes like this. I hired an electrician to wire up a 30-amp hookup for my parents when they visit, I assume in their driveway. After he left, we hooked up our own RV using the setup, which to our shock blew out our electrical system. Ouch. Why would this happen? Did the electrician mess up? We're not happy campers. So uh, what's the deal? Ah, uh, yes, the electrician did in fact mess up, and here's why. If you notice in houses 20, 30 years ago, they had a 230 volt receptacle for dryers that looked very, very similar to your 30 amp receptacle for your RV. Your RV is called a TT30 connection. Your RV gets wired up to 120 volts while the dryer outlets get wired up to 240 volts. Mm -hmm. So if you have an electrician that's never wired up an RV, he's gonna look at that connector assume that it's a dryer type outlet and wire it up to 240 volts. Then when you plug in your RV, it blows up all of your electronics in, in seconds, really. I hope he's got good insurance because uh, he's liable for this. Um, I've even seen RVs that have been completely taken out of commission. That is the non-repairable. Modern, modern RVs have way too much electronics in to sustain this sort of thing. And you can, in fact, use some modern voltage protection devices that would shut this down. But unless you have one of those, you plug it into this miswired TT30 connection, then it's lights out, baby. So I guess what you really need to do is you need to ask the electrician up front if he understands RV electricity and kind of make sure that he's going to do the right thing, huh? If, if you go to No Shock Zone, I have a tab there that says miswired 240 volt outlets. Mm. Have that printed out and have the electrician read it. And if he says that's a bunch of hooey, it's, I'm wiring this at 240 volts, kick them out, go get somebody else. And I would also measure it myself the first time. I have tons of instructions on how to use a voltmeter on No Shock Zone. Okay, all right, great. Well, thank you very much, Mike. You're welcome.